Hello, beautiful people, and thank you for joining this episode of Three Queries in a Quote, our video series demonstrating how you can bring your log data to life with three powerful queries and a profound quote. Let's dive in. One of the top priorities for application developers is meeting business needs through their applications while also delivering a grand end user experience. <laughs> By leveraging log data, developers are equipped to make data-driven decisions and deliver value to customers quickly. To see this come to life, we're gonna use a scenario and let's consider Tracy, who's a senior mobile app developer at a financial services company. She's preparing for a weekly status update with her leadership team, but due to a recent phishing accident, she's tasked with investigating network performance across the entirety of the large scale infrastructure at her business. To prepare, Tracy will use three statistical functions that we'll look into right now. First, Tracy will use the average query function to calculate the average for a field over a set of events. And next, Tracy will depend on the min query function to find the smallest number for a specified field over a set of events. And lastly, she'll leverage the max query function, which will find the largest number for a specified field over a set of events as well. So first, Tracy is going to identify the average size of original bytes and the response bytes of the packets that she has coming across the network for her app. So those are pretty easy. One of the things that Tracy identifies is that she's only running across a 24 hour period. For this scenario today with Tracy, we're only able to go back seven days with Humio's Community Edition, but customers can also go back a month, three months, maybe even a year if they need to. Now imagine the tremendous value of looking back 365 days. Next, Tracy has to find the minimum and maximum time it took for the packets to be transferred. She's going to find the minimum duration first. With the data that she gets back, it's clear to see that Humio is providing her this data in real time. And then we're also going to find the max duration as well to get that time so she could report it to the rest of her peers. So next is the biggest piece of this pie, which is exporting all of the information that she just identified into a time chart that both her security peers can look at and also her leadership team in order to make a key business decision to take in additional security resources to protect the end users. So let's see how Tracy does this. First, she uses a time chart query function in order to get the graphical depiction of the data that she's compiled. And she'll also put that out via window. And you'll also notice that you'll see something that's very comparable to what we just saw by finding the average amount of the original bytes. Then she's going to tie in the minimum amount of the or, or minimum number of the original bytes, which was that negative zero that we saw. And also the maximum amount of the original bytes. Um, she's also going to use a bucket uh, function as well, which divides the search time interval into buckets. So basically it breaks down all of the um, events into sections that are congruent to specific sets of time via buckets. And she's going to use the window in order to again compute the aggregate functions over a sliding window of data. All right. And after she does that, you will see that she actually gets a table back that she's able to export and put out via widgets within Humio that she can use for her next meeting. Great job, Tracy. With three statistical functions at her fingertips, Tracy was able to identify the average size of her app's network performance packets, gather the minimum and maximum packet transfer times, and export data via time charts all valuable items for her peers. By creating a time chart, Tracy's security peers are now equipped to decrease the time needed to identify anomalies. And with the average traffic time being abnormally high, the business made a data-driven decision to conduct pen tests, which simulate the attempts to gather sensitive customer data, ultimately enhancing the customer experience and protecting it. Now, before I wrap us up, I want to leave you with the Humio customer quote that pairs very well with Tracy's use of the three statistical functions that we just saw. This one comes from Brandon Helms, who is the engineering manager at Remitly. Brandon states that Humio helps us transform raw data into actionable insights. Thanks to Humio, we are able to transform about 40% of our data into meaningful information that delivers value to the business. Thank you, Brandon. <laughs> Be sure to catch our next video tutorial by smashing the like button and subscribing to Humio's YouTube channel. You can run these same powerful queries on your own by signing up for Humio's Community Edition, which allows you to ingest 16 gigabytes of data per day and retain it for seven days. 
<laughs> you can uncover tons more about Humio by visiting our community site, The Nest, and by following us on Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. Until we meet next time, beautiful people, you all be safe and you all be blessed. We'll see you soon.